welcome to another episode of Talking With WIT, Kevin and Son, showcasing the people you should know. This episode is brought to you by RMK Productions and the 10 United Podcast Network. Our mission is through the power of our stories. We want to uplift your voice, inspire, share your stories and experiences and perspectives using the framework of teaching, learning, and modeling. Our purpose is very simple. Since the third grade, I've been saying I want to make a difference in people's life. I want to help other people every day. So our purpose is hope, H-O-P-E. So with that said, in 2024, I wanted to do something a little different. I wanted to um, showcase the secrets to other people's um, success. Everyone has some type of trademark or whatever. So whatever your objective is, successful people create a framework around their day-to-day -day life that enhances their life. This special um, podcast will reveal their secrets of highly effective people in their lives. In the next 100 episodes, our featured guests will show you their simple and doable steps as to how they turn bad habits into good habits, mastering small behavior that leads to big outcomes. So the next 100 episodes that we will feature along with our uh, weekly episodes of people that you should know, each of our guests will be asked the secrets to their habits of living a highly effective life and the secrets to their success. So how this concept originally was created, I was asked in an interview that I did in 2023, if there were habits that I had that made me a super achiever. The show showcased 100 of the most influential motivational speakers in 2023 and 2024, and I happened to be one of the guests on that podcast. So I, I figured if I'm going to ask other people to step in and share their secrets, I should be the first one to take the first step. So in the very first episode of this episode of Talking With Kevin and Son, I figured I would share mine. So my first one is create the next step. My head works like most computers. Sometimes it's um, working highly efficiently. Sometimes it's buffing, but I'm a planner. I always want to know what the next steps are. I need to do that. So, you know, I know today I'm not where I want to be, but I'm where I need to be until I get to where um, I want to be. So I'm always ready to get where I want, want to be. And the key thing is, is to plan out my day, one task at a time, and then move over from there. My second, second secret is invest in yourself. Before I can ask anyone to help me, I must first put the time and energy and money and resources into me first before I ask for anything help, anyone else's help. I am always willing to invest in you. That means my time, my energy, and sometimes uh, I will make a financial inv investment. This is why I tell everyone else, whenever you have an idea and ever, uh, you have a dream, is that the first person that needs to be called to action should be you. Don't look for a handout um, unless you're willing to give a hand. So you need to go ahead and turn the tables and, and invest in yourself. My third thing is, and I do this each and every day. I get up early. I start my day before anyone else. And the reason why, because I do understand the value of time. It is the most valuable asset, asset that we have. <clears throat> and it's also one of the most um, mislected or misleading resources that we have. Mislected, uh, neglected, that's the word that I want to use. Um, <laughs> and the reason why I get up every morning uh, just before 4 a.m., and the reason why I get up that early is because I understand that there's 86,400 seconds in a day. 
There are 186 hours during a week, 365 days in a year, and I try to get 366, and it's 52 weeks in a year. I think I said that right. But I also realize that people like hitting a snooze button. I don't do that. When I get up, I'm ready to go. Um, I always um, get up, and this is part of my habit, is that uh, as soon as I get out of bed, I turn around and make it. The reason why I do that, because I don't set goals, I create tasks. And the first thing I need to do is have a task already done. Making my bed is the first task. I grew up in a military family, so that was something that was taught to me. The next thing I have to do, I have to thank God for giving me a second chance at this life and asking for grace and making sure that I don't make him regret allowing me to have a second chance at this life in this world. So I do get down on my hands and knees and I pray and I give grace. I give him all the appreciation because everything I do is because I have a strong faith and belief. And I believe he is guiding me towards the next step in my life. Um, the fourth thing, I'm a learner. I always need feedback. So what I suggest to you is do what I do. If you're the type of person I am, if you're not, then create your own list. Is that I always surround my people. My, I always surround myself around people that are like-minded, that are going to places that I want to go or have been to places where I would like to be. You know, I always say that I'm a person that gets stuff done. That's not exactly the word that I use, but I get stuff done. And I like to be around people that share that same type of mindset. <clears throat> people that do more um, uh, planning and thinking than they do talking. I write down the advice that I'm giving and the direction, and I follow that to the letter. Some, sometimes, you know, it, it's important. When you look at another person's lifestyle, don't say, I want to be like you. Ask them how they got to, um, to be who they are and what they had to endure or overcome in order to be where they are. It's not easy. Life is difficult. In order for life to get better, it's got to be difficult first and then easy. My fifth one is collaboration. I like work with other people. Um, I like to see their success. And I want people that are around me to be just as successful. And I like helping other people. Collaboration is, is key to success as well as in your professional life. Um, no one can do this one thing in this world alone. You know, the only time we come in this, this world uh, is alone is when we're born. And most of the time when we leave this world, we leave alone. But we are people that need human connection. And um, one of the things that I did when I started RMK Production, when I started my publishing company, when I started my marketing company, uh, when I started my speaking um, tours, when I started my personal business as a uh, fitness professional, I always surrounded myself with like-minded people. And I realized that, um, you know, success is a lot better when you share that those moments, those experiences with other people. Now, my company, RMK Production, we have a simple format. I show up every single day in order to make everyone that's part of my family, not employees, part of my family successful. And I only surround myself with people that wake up every single day that want to see RMK Productions and Kevin McLemore successful. So collaboration is key. I can't write a book without my wonderful uh, editor, Judy. Um, and... Um, uh, Selena, um, you know, they're part of the team. I can't live my, my my life to the fullest without the support of my family and friends, my children. Um, so that's it. So fit. Create a structure of support. Everything you do, you have to have a plan. Doesn't have to be perfect, and don't strive for being perfect. But you do need to work out as many details as possible. Then surround yourself with a team, people that are ready, willing, and able to help you get stuff done. And it has to be equally committed. Like I said, there's no part of your celebration when you're just alone. That's just being just alone. So create a structure that you have sound support 
not people that envy you, that talk about you behind your back, people that will pick you up, that when you're not feeling well, they say, I got you, and they'll help you move forward. Number seven, create healthy boundaries. Don't add anyone to your dream that's dragging their feet on theirs. That is very simple, simply put. If they're not helping themselves, they can't help you. Surround yourself with creative people. And like I said, you're only as strong as you last know. My eighth, and this probably should be probably higher than this, is invest in physical activity every single day. A fit body, a fine, uh, a, a fit mind, a healthy habits, a healthy lifestyle. Feed your soul before you can serve anyone or anything else. Your health is number one priority. I know people that will put thousands of dollars into repairing um, an automobile that doesn't have their name on it. I know people that will spend thousands of dollars on a vacation trip and spend um, days chasing one shot after another. I know people that will stand in line and overpay for jewelry that has no return on your investment. But they will not make time to eat properly, to get rest, to exercise frequently, or even invest in a fitness professional to get proper de uh, direction. So I would say invest in the most important as asset that you have in your life. It's you. Make you first. Make you a priority. Make your health a priority. Make your mental health a priority. Make health and a healthy lifestyle a daily habit. Nine. This is important to me for a couple of reasons. Uh, I live with a TBI. That's a traumatic brain injury. And in most cases, I just summarize it up. It's living with multiple concussions and having to um, endure Successful people have a couple things that um, they have in habit. And one, education. Successful people love reading. I know some of you say, I hate reading. And believe it or not, I understand when you go through a um, structured system as our education system, you're handed books that really are not teaching you how to be creative, but how to follow in line to get straight A's. To, to work at entry-level management positions, to, to go to college and get a degree and then discover the whole um, real world has a whole different agenda for you. Reading allows you to travel. Reading allows you to experience what other people have experienced. Reading allows you not to make the same mistakes because when you read other people and they share with you their journey, they also create a roadmap. That allows, you, that allows you an opportunity to learn what to do and what not to do. So find a book you, you like reading. No, don't find a book you like reading. Find a book that you love to read. Ask other successful book people what books have they read in order for them to get to where they're, they're at. And most people will say that the first book is, you know, how to win friends and uh, influence people. Think and Grow Rich, um, Seven hab Habits of Highly Successful People. The book goes on and on. If there's someone that you admire that happens to have a book, read their book and follow them because they are going to re reveal every single secret they have. I always say the best kept secrets are in a book. And the most dangerous person on the planet is someone with an education and a dream. My 10th habit, and this is something that I, I hope that you're strong enough to do. I hate wasting time. You know, uh, we all have our biases. And my one bias is I hate being around negative people. Negative people seem to sap you of all of your energy and just take up space. I say to you, and this is featured in one of my books, Sprinkles the True Spirit of Christmas. 
It's a must read. It has nothing to do with Christmas, but about being kind and being good to other people. Uh, avoid dream stealers. It's a waste of your time and energy. And they will they are stuck in their life and they want you to be stuck with them. Don't waste your time. If a person's not open to learning, taking your advice, or constantly um, pulling at you, and they start to feel heavy, believe it or not, just like exercise, if you want to take off a couple of pounds, then you got to put in the work to do it. You are only as strong as your last no. Lighten the load and let them go. I'm not saying forever. Sometimes um, life happens like a boomerang. They come back. And if they come back whole, then welcome them in. I'm not saying get rid of them altogether. But I will tell you, dream stealers will steal your dreams. If you have a great idea, don't tell it to someone that doesn't have a life of their own or not a positive person, whatever, because they would suck the dream out of you. Just simple as that. The other thing, and this is uh, very personal, I do not like touching things twice. For me, success is all about learning. Failure is part of the learning experiences that justifies the hardship and the struggles. And once you know better, you do better. And once you can do better, you just keep doing it. It's just stupidity. Um, and it's just not worth it. Um if you're not ready for a better life, you know, all pigeons want to be eagles, but only an eagle can fly two miles into the atmosphere and soar while pigeons lay there on the ground, ground floor. You don't have to tell me that I've done something wrong more than twice. I don't like repeating myself. If I give you one chance, more than likely if I that second chance, if you blow it, don't expect it again. Now, when I was given my interview, the very last thing that I that I said in that interview, I said, rest. Rest reduces stress, gives you an opportunity to become more um, active, to work against the determinants of your daily sedentary lives, and it helps you repair your body and the damage that you have done, um, not only to the physical part of you, but the mental part of you, and it helps rep repair your immune system. Now, when I first said this, it was a good idea in a conversation. I talk about this every single day. As a mindset coach and practicing neutral thinking, as a motivational speaker and, and telling people to get up off their butt and just get things done, but also as one of the top fitness influencers, I realized as of last year, 2023, October 13th, that I was full of crap. The 12th line to my highly effective lifestyle, I was not a uh, participant in. I had the mindset that since I was 14, I didn't require a lot, a lot of sleep. I was average about three and a half hours of sleep every single day because I said I was an effing freaking machine. But I'm giving that advice to everyone else when I'm talking about a healthy way of life. And I was not practicing one of the key tools to resetting your body, to regroup, to, to allow yourself to refocus to replenish your, your body and to give your body the needed support for the demands that's put on it while you're active during the course of a day. So I said I was a hypocrite. So as of 2023, October 13th to be exact, I committed to being in bed and sleep between 8.30 p.m. and 9 p.m. I used to work until 10 and get home about 10, 30, 11 o'clock every single night. So the first thing I had to do was let some things go. I had to change some habits. And that's the one the other thing about being successful is being flexible with your habits. When things are not working for you and they're costing you more than they, they're giving you a return on your investment, you need to change. That's why change is good. You know, you have to be the example that you want your children to see, your better half to see, your friends to see, and what the world to see. So I had to get some rest. So I'm sure my list can go on and on and on. But these are the 12 habits of how I live a very highly effective and efficient life. And if I was asked add one more, I would say don't try to be perfect and stay positive. 
As my grandfather says, when you get to a point in life that you can help someone else out, it is your duty to do so. He said, reach one, teach one. And with that said, I want to thank everyone for listening and staying with me um, for 2024. Uh, we got so much more coming for you. Um, and I'll say that we'll fade to black and we're out. Much love to all of you. Bye-bye.